Lights, Camera, Abandon. Check out our list of the coolest abandoned TV and movie sets from around the world. Once bustling with activity, these sets are now left to ruin, with some becoming tourist attractions. From famous actors to iconic scenes, take a look at these forgotten sites. Neighbours, the famous Australian soap opera, opens up its set in Melbourne to the public. Fans can visit the iconic Ramsey Street and other locations by booking the official Neighbours tour, which includes popular spots like Lassiter's and the Waterhole Pub. Don't miss your chance to see the abandoned set filled with discarded props. Tourists in Melbourne, Australia can now visit the global television studios to see the iconic set of the long-running soap opera, Neighbours. The tour includes a visit to Power Road, home to Fitzgerald Motors, Grease Monkeys and Dial a Kyle. Fans can also explore the Erinsboro Depot for props and memorabilia. Don't forget to take a selfie on set. In Pioneertown, California, lies a film set built in the 1940s to resemble a late 1800s Old West town. Unlike other movie sets, this one was constructed to be a real, living town, complete with a four-block-long main street. Pioneer Town was used as a backdrop for over 50 films and TV shows during its peak in the 1940s and 1950s. Pioneer Town, California has a rich history as a film set, featuring in many films including the Cisco Kid and Gene Autry flicks. The decline in Western viewership resulted in it becoming a destination in its own right. Visitors come to stay at the Pioneer Town Motel, dine at Pappy and Harriet's Pioneer Town Palace, and explore the Pioneer Town Film Museum. The town currently has a permanent population of around 400. Pirates of the Caribbean, fans, listen up. An authentic piece of movie history exists on the Caribbean island of St. Vincent. The hotel and restaurant Wallalibo Anchorage is home to the original movie set from the franchise's first film. The establishment even has props from Captain Jack Sparrow's famous escape sequence. The franchise has grossed more than $4.5 billion over the past 20 years. The Hunger Games is a movie about a society split into districts where citizens are forced to participate in an annual battle. The scenes in District 12, the hometown of lead character Katniss Everdeen, were filmed in the real-life town of Henry River Mill Village in North Carolina. Welcome to our top story tonight. Fans of the hit movie series, The Hunger Games, can now tour the abandoned Henry River Mill Village in North Carolina. Visitors can explore the 72-acre site and even spend the night in a two-bedroom cabin. The village dates back to 1905 and includes an abandoned brick company store and an old mill house. This is a must-visit destination for any serious fan. Mel Gibson's The Patriot and the romantic drama The Notebook were both filmed in Cypress Gardens, South Carolina. The man-made swampland was used as the old Spanish mission Black Swamp Militia's secret island headquarters in The Patriot and served as a location for Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling's separation in The Notebook. An abandoned Viking town was discovered in Iceland's Mount Vesterhorn, made for a movie that never came to be. The set remains intact after a decade since the movie ran out of cash. A film set in Iceland's Vesterhorn mountain range is now open to visitors, with a cafe and guesthouse available. However, harsh winter weather is causing the wooden structures to decay. The stunning site is a must-see for now, but may not last forever. Full Metal Jacket, the iconic 1987 film about the Vietnam War, was actually filmed in London, UK. The battle scenes were shot in Becton Gas Works, which had been transformed into a Vietnamese city. Stanley Kubrick's team created the illusion of Southeast Asia despite being more than 6,000 miles away. American Marines clearing a Vietnamese city of enemies, filmed in London's Becton Gas Works for Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. The site was selectively destroyed and decorated to create an authentic cityscape. Follow our Facebook for more travel inspiration. In the classic film Field of Dreams, Kevin Costner plays a farmer-turned-baseball hero. The movie, based on a 1982 novel by W.P. Kinsella, was filmed on farms near Dyersville, Iowa. The movie has gained a cult following in the years since its release. 
Experts who worked on the Dodger Stadium and Rose Bowl were brought in to create the perfect set for the iconic movie, Field of Dreams. Due to the film's tight schedule, they had to paint the turf a vivid shade of green, as there was no time for it to grow naturally. The movie's location in Dyersville, Iowa, USA, is a popular tourist attraction today. Field of Dreams in Dyersville, Iowa continues to attract tourists as the film set remains open to the public. After filming, landowner Don Lansing decided to keep the set intact and it was later sold to go the distance baseball in 2012. Visitors can explore the Field and Lansing family farmhouse. Read on to discover famous movie locations in every U.S. state. Blue Cloud Ranch in California is a popular film and TV location, hosting iconic titles such as Iron Man and American Sniper. It was also one of the settings for Zero Dark Thirty, which detailed the events leading to the capture of Osama bin Laden. Additionally, read about incredible abandoned subway stations around the world. Many spaghetti westerns were not filmed in the U.S., but in the Tabernas Desert near Almeria, Spain. This location was the set for iconic films like The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, and is known for being the brainchild of the famous Italian director Sergio Leone. In Spain's Tabernas Desert lies a unique film set which has served as the backdrop for many Wild West-style movies. Constructed by the great director Sergio Leone in 1964, the life-size towns are still in use today. The sets have also featured in Nickelodeon's Lost in the West and BBC's Doctor Who. Welcome to our report today. In southern Spain, the Tabernas Desert now houses a Wild West-themed park called Oasis Mini Hollywood, built from an old abandoned filming set. It also acts as a zoological reserve for endangered species. Plus, see stunning photos of forgotten islands around the world. Stay tuned for more updates. The stunning landscapes of New Zealand played a vital role in bringing the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit into life. The location scouts discovered the Alexander Farm, a beautiful sheep farm in Waikato, with green pastures and rolling hills to recreate Hobbiton's idyllic setting. Hobbiton, the picturesque and quaint hometown of the beloved hobbits from J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, is a fully-fledged tourist attraction in New Zealand. The Hobbiton movie set offers visitors a chance to tour the sites of Bilbo and Frodo Baggins' home, as well as the Green Dragon Inn. Located in the northern part of the North Island, Hobbiton is a must-see destination for any Tolkien fan. Tatooine, Tunisia, is the inspiration behind the iconic Star Wars planet, Tatooine. The desert town was the filming location for many scenes in the franchise and has become a popular tourist destination for die-hard fans. Its unique architecture and landscape make it a perfect representation of the fictional planet from a galaxy far, far away. Tatooine, a city in Tunisia, inspired the name of a popular Star Wars planet, Tatooine. It appears notably in the first prequel movie, and its unique cave architecture draws visitors to this day. Star Wars fans, listen up! The real-life location of Luke Skywalker's homestead, Hotel Sidi Idris, can be found in Tatooine, Tunisia. Appearing in the first, second, and latest film in the franchise, this unique accommodation is a must-visit for die-hard fans. Iron Man fans will be surprised to hear that the Afghan landscape seen in the 2008 hit movie were not actually filmed in Afghanistan. Instead, the scenery was shot in Lone Pine, California's Alabama Hills. The eponymous role of Iron Man was played by Robert Downey Jr. and his capture scene portrayed Tony Stark being caught after a raid on an army convoy. Iron Man 2's airfield scenes were actually filmed in Edwards Air Force Base, California. The base is frequently used in movies such as The Transformers and Armageddon. Explore abandoned theme parks in the U.S. Actors Jack Black and Michael Sarah teamed up for the 2009 comedy Year One, filmed in northwest Louisiana near Sibley. The set, meant to depict the biblical city of Sodom, was situated in a beautiful location surrounded by sand and trees. Martin Scorsese's 2002 movie, Gangs of New York, was filmed in Cinecita, Rome instead of New York. Starring Leonardo DiCaprio, 
Daniel Day-Lewis and Cameron Diaz, the movie tells a story of a Catholic-Protestant feud in Manhattan. Cinecita is the largest European film studio and the center of Italian cinema. A mile-long replica of 19th-century New York was created by production designer Dante Ferretti at Rome's Cinecita Studio. Lower Manhattan and the East River waterfront were included in the set that also features two full-sized sailing ships. It was used for, Gangs of New York, and the TV series, Rome. Acclaimed director Tim Burton's Big Fish is a heart-wrenching film about a son reconciling with his dying father. The fictional town of Spectre was built from scratch on Jackson Lake Island, near Montgomery, Alabama, instead of using a real location as a set. The town still stands today. Tourists in Montgomery, Alabama, can visit the deserted set of the film Big Fish, which starred Ewan McGregor, Marion Cotillard, and Helena Bonham Carter. The Nauiri location is overgrown with wildlife, allowing visitors to walk in the footsteps of the movie's blockbuster names. Robin Williams played Popeye in the 1980 film adaptation of the comic. Popeye Village in Maliha, Malta served as the principal location for the film. Not many people know that the late actor and comedian took on the role of the spinach-guzzling anti-hero on the rugged Mediterranean island. In Maliha, Malta lies Popeye Village, a family-friendly theme park that was constructed in Anchor Bay after the filming of the life-sized town. Initially abandoned, the Maltese government revived it, making it one of the island's most popular destinations. The gas haven petrol station near Warzazat, Morocco was featured in the 2006 horror movie The Hills Have Eyes. The desert location doubled for the American West and audiences were left terrified of the creepy clerk and his shortcut. The sun-faded station still sits in the wilderness today. The Atlas Corporation Studios in Morocco is a popular movie location that has been used for many famous films including Lawrence of Arabia. Its opening in 1983 provided sets for movies featuring ancient civilizations, biblical locations, and works of fiction. Gas Haven is just one of the many movies filmed there. Largest movie studio in the world discovered in Morocco, attracting filmmakers worldwide. Harsh climate leads to abandoned sets decaying quickly, giving eerie atmosphere. One example is an Egyptian temple, but visit this article for more ghost town sightings in America.